From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. Remain seated, please. Permanecer sentados, por favor. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. In this segment of the program, uh, you know, we've, uh, of course, discussed the economy from any number of angles. Uh, it continues to be the thing we all think about every day. Uh, many of us worry about our jobs. Many of us worry about uh, the companies we work for, whether they'll be in business tomorrow. Many of us worry about uh, how we're going to pay the mortgage, how we're going to pay the rent, how we're going to buy groceries. Many of us are worried about how we're going to pay for Christmas and what kind of Christmas we're going to have. We've talked about a lot of these things on the air. But um, one thing we have not talked about is how you're going to handle the people you are involved with. Because the economy, let me just say this, the economy is the perfect excuse to not get somebody something for Christmas or to scale down their expectations. Let me just say, what a perfect way to tell her she's not getting that engagement ring this year <laughs> because of the economy, because you're afraid of what's going to happen to your job. I mean, make sure you add this to your repertoire, boys, that uh, this year, because of the economy, there'll be no engagement rings, there'll be no weddings. Uh, you might want to also add in there that there'll be no expensive presents. That luxury car, like they have the uh, commercials every Christmas season, the luxury car with the big bow on top of it, not going to be happening at your house. Because we must be responsible right now. Now, I'm wondering if you have found ways to cheap out on the person you are dating, the person you are serious about, the person you're living with, or your spouse. Have you found ways to cheap out on the upcoming holiday season? Cheap out on those gifts. I mean, there's all kinds of ways to cheap out, but you have got the perfect excuse. You know, what a great time to be making a handmade Christmas card. <laughs> <laughs> what a great time to sit down and write some note uh, telling her <clears throat> how much you love her or whatever, uh, whatever crap. You know, you just put it down on paper and you tell, you know, honey, uh, this is not a good year. Times are tough, but I just wanted to say how much I love you. And even though I couldn't afford to get you the kind of gift I wanted to get you, I just wanted you to know that you're the most important thing to me. I wanted to put it in writing and write a letter that you could hold and keep for the rest of your life telling you how much I care. You know how much money you could save by writing some piece of crap like that? And I suggest you start to, you start crafting that little uh, that little ditty right now. I think you start writing that down. Tell her how much you care about her. <laughs> In the meantime, she'll never notice you're not spending a thousand dollars or seven hundred and fifty bucks or two months' salary or whatever it is she expects you to spend. She's not getting the big expensive trip. No, she's not getting anything. You're going to keep the uh, presents down to a minimum. You're going to use the economy as the reason. I mean, that is, if you're not following my advice and just uh, icing her altogether during the holidays, here is the perfect excuse if you could not resist being with her during the holidays for not getting anything or for getting uh, her expectations reduced dramatically. So I'm wondering, uh, have you made plans to cut back on the uh, gifts? Maybe she has big expectations for what you're going to get. 
Have you done something about this? Have you actually thought about this? Have you made a plan in your head as to what you're going to do? Call me and tell me here at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. You know, we've talked about people and the way they are economizing. But the holidays cost you a fortune. Why would you want to spend a fortune on somebody? I mean, you're just, you're boning them, for God's sake. It doesn't mean you need to give them big presents. Have you specifically figured out ways to cheap out on the holidays with the people you love? I've got to know. Come on. Tom like is 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. The 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. How are you economizing with the one you love? <laughs> Do tell. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's the holiday season. Are you cheaping out of the gifts? Here's your perfect excuse not to buy that engagement ring, boys. And we're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much. Uh, alrighty, boss. So uh, yeah, the economy is hard. Uh... And uh, I can't actually, I don't want to buy gifts, so uh, I practice MMA and jiu-jitsu, and I pretty much just told everybody that I was off for a trip to Brazil to, uh, you know, engage in more actual uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, so I won't be back till February. And Really? Has she believed that? Uh, well, first, uh, yeah, I, I'm banging a couple girls here and there, so I just told all of them that, you know, it's uh I keep my life, my life on the DL, and they don't really know much about me, so it works out great, man. I've been taking all of your advice, and it's amazing. <laughs> well, I love that. So, yeah, uh, so, but, uh, they won't be getting any gifts from me either when I become a UFC fighter. That's if I make it that way. Sounds good to me. All right, you boss, can you blow me up? Yes, yes, I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Are you using the holidays as an excuse to economize on gifts? Telling her, hey, hey, no cars, no rings, no expensive presents, no presents at all. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. Cat on the top like his show. Hello. Oh, hi. That was really quick. Listen, I have to stay on topic, and the topic is, because I did want to discuss something else, the topic is, should you exchange gifts during the holidays because of the economy, correct? That's the one and only topic, and if you try to steer it into another topic, I will hang up the phone. <laughs> okay, let me say this. Of course, you know, you're saying that there's a monetary value that we're attaching to relationships. Are you not? There is one. And why, how do you determine that monetary value? Well, I, the point is, I to me, a relationship has zero monetary value. And that means no one should expect anything from me of, uh, of, of financial value. Well, then how do you express your love? Well, is, is money the only way to express love? No, so I'm asking you, how are other ways? Hugging to... and kissing and having sex. Okay, so there be, should be no expectation of exchanging gifts. Right. I, I think that's unreasonable. I mean, we do live in a culture that recognizes holidays, right? Well, then you keep the gifts as cheap as possible because it's the thought that counts, right? I believe it's the thought that counts, yes. There we go. So if I pick up some daisies from the side of the freeway <laughs> and I bring them to you and I say, hey, you know, I pulled over to the shoulder to get these, you should be happy with that. I would love it. I would love it. There you go. Okay, but I want to. Can I say something else? No, if it's not, if it's not about this topic, <laughs> no, you can't. Well, I can tie it in. What about? No, you can't. Thank you for calling. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Uh, Celia on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I am curious. My boyfriend just started listening to you recently, and uh, we were both against marriage. He kind of wanted to maybe in the future, and now he's against it. And I'm curious in your views. What did you say that made him totally change his mind? What did I say to make him totally change his mind? I'm, I'm opposed to marriage for men. Completely? There's no benefit to that. Right, because... 
she had mentioned about getting married, and I said, well, I don't mind saying I do as long as there's no legalities in it. We can get, you know, just some pastor just to say I do, and that it, that's it, but no paperwork. And he was okay with that, but now he's just like, let's just live life together, and that's it. So I was curious on what you said or what you normally go by in order for him to finally see the views that I do. What, uh, well, the point is there's no benefit to a man to get married. Everything that you get in a marriage, you get without a marriage. Do you love him? Oh, yeah. See? Really. So he gets love. Do you have sex with him? All the time. See? So he gets sex. Uh, do you live together? No, we don't because I have two girls and I don't want them to see that. I don't want them to go by what I'm doing. I want them to make their own decisions on what they want in marriage for themselves. Right. I also recommend that guys not date single mothers. So uh, you, got oh, really? off, you got off lucky on that. Why is that? Uh, because uh, uh, those obligations become his obligations. And why does he need that? As far as what obligations? Costs. Time. Huh. He doesn't pay for anything. Not I mean, yet. He doesn't live with you. That's true. That's true. And and we had agreed that we wouldn't move in together until both our kids, all our kids are 18. I have two girls. He has a son. So that's another 14 years from now. So that's pretty much where we're at now. So I say thank you very much. And if you can convince guys who are not very sexual to be more sexual, please, because I'm right now in my 30s and crave it all the time. And he's not a sexual person. And it's driving me crazy. Well, darling, maybe you're with the wrong guy. I'm sorry to think so sometimes, but he's a really good guy. He really is, and he yeah, has but, a good but, heart. But, dear, sex is very important, and it's it even is. more important to you. It is. It's one of our so arguments, actually. It's not, but the point is you can't live without that. Right. And you can't make him into a man he's not. True. If he doesn't have your sex drive and you are frustrated, it won't work. That's true. Didn't think about it that way. We're you can't pretend it's not a problem. And what you would ultimately do in a marriage? You know, uh, let me ask you a question. Ever come home from work, look in the refrigerator, there's no food there? You forgot to go shopping or you've been busy? Mm -hmm. Did that ever happen? Um, come on, it happens to everybody. Yeah, it There must does. have been a time you came home and there was nothing in the refrigerator. Right. Right? Do you go hungry? No, I eat cereal. <laughs> Or you go out and you take the girls to McDonald's or wherever it right. is you take them. Right. Because if there's nothing at home, you're going to go get it somewhere else. I see where you're going. That's how sex is. I see where you're, and that's not something I want in a relationship. I don't want the cheating. I don't want the lying. Well, but that's exactly where you're heading if you're planning on pretending that the lack of sex drive on his part is not a problem. Thank you very much. I called to get one view, and I got a totally new enlightenment. So, wow. so now even you should want to get married. I should want to? Should not want to. Oh, no, I never did. I was already married once, right. and I'm not doing that again. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you, dear. Bye. Oh, boy. Italy finds out uh, that I said that to her. <laughs> They're probably listening right now. Gee, I hadn't thought about that. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. The holidays are coming. How are you economizing on those gifts? Using the economy, the lousy economy, to tell her, hey, you're not getting anything. Steve on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay. So I have this girl that uh, I fly out uh, here to the West Coast for the holidays every year. I uh, run a furniture store, so we're pretty affected by the economy pretty, pretty poorly. Right. So I told her this year... She's not flying out here. I'm not paying for that. And she told me she was going to fly herself out here for a ticket and asked me what I was going to get her for Christmas. Is you know that what I so told her? What? I told her I'm not getting her anything unless it's crotchless. And that was just how it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, I'm a size small. So she's headed out here for Christmas. That's, that's how it is. I mean... I make good money. I drive a nice car. I'm not even messing with girls around here because they see my Mercedes and they see dollar signs. So I, I import my women. I love those subservient uh, Asian women from out of the country. It's great. <laughs> I don't see how you're using the economy, though. The well, because every year I pay for a ticket because I do well, and she knows that. And I told her this year because the economy is so bad. My, I'm, I'm in retail. I have a retail <laughs> store. So retail's bad. I don't have the money, sweetheart. Sorry. There we go. I she love found that. the money. I love that. 
You know, they'll they'll find the money to get what they want. That's women always. Well, that's why we want. have to stop giving them so much. Exactly. And you know what? When you stop giving them so much, they give you more. You are right about that. You know what, Tom? You're the man. Can you take me out with the... Uh, why don't you give me a Kobe and then a Snoop Dogg? All right. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. Biatch. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Are you using the lousy economy to tell your significant other, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, that they're not going to get a big gift or any gift this year? It's the perfect excuse. Even if you can afford a gift, it's the perfect excuse. The perfect excuse. Are you kidding me? 1-800-5800-866. Let's say hello here to Sandra on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Doing great. I love your show. Thank you. Okay, well, I told um, my husband that I was going to give him a full body massage, and that's all I was giving him for Christmas, and that I expected nothing. So just that's all I'm giving him for Christmas. Very nice. <laughs> Did you yep. like, at least put it like a, like a little certificate? Do you make it with like... Uh... Like uh, one of these uh, software programs, you could make it look like a gift certificate. I'm going to tie myself in a little bow and give him a massage, and he can unwrap me later. Really? <laughs> <laughs> now, can you, act, in reality, could you afford Christmas gifts? You're just using it as an excuse, or what? No, yeah, you know, I can afford it. Um, normally, I go all out for him, but we have a four month old baby, and I'd rather just buy him presents than my husband. So that's how we're gonna do well, it. This, see that? Year. See, guys, that's why you don't want to get married. That's what happens. <laughs> that's yeah. what happens. You move right to the bottom of the list. <laughs> but I just wanted to tell you that I love your show and I agree with everything you say. And can you take me out, Bill O'Reilly um, style? Uh, by the way, Bill O'Reilly. Speaking of Bill O'Reilly style, Bill O'Reilly failed in radio. Did you hear about this? He failed. He's uh, got to be, uh, but well, they, they're going to say that he, he's, he's going to leave his radio show first quarter of 09. But why would you leave if you were successful? You don't hear Rush Limbaugh leaving. Or you don't hear me leaving. Why is Bill O'Reilly leaving radio? Because he failed at it. I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. It. Do it live. I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live. And thing sucks. He won't be doing radio live anymore. <laughs> Bye, Bill. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, we know. You got to love that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Uh, I wanted to know uh, what you thought about uh, if the economy is not affecting you. And she's giving you everything you want. Should you still use the economy as an excuse to dole down the gift, or uh, what do you mean giving you, you everything you want? What do you What do you mean by that? Uh, well, the economy's not really affecting me. I mean, I'm in the military, so my you know I'm on salary. Yeah, you know, I'm on contract. So you know, she's giving me everything I want. I get the sex. You know, like that woman was saying earlier, she gets down on her knees, gives me everything I want. Uh, it's just a girlfriend. But, uh, yeah, but it's a perfect excuse. Yeah, by the way, by the way, being in the military, you especially don't have money. My God, you guys are so underpaid. Uh, I, I agree, but uh, about the underpaid thing. But I mean, I, I manage my money really well, Tom. Yeah, but you why know? should she be the beneficiary of that? Uh, uh, probably not. No, I work hard for my money. There Real you hard. go. So then, there's no need to give it to her. All right. That's what, that's good advice. <laughs> <laughs> you collapse like a house of cards, for God's sake. Yeah, I do what I'm told, Tom. I understand, <laughs> Mike. Thanks a lot for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. Like is 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. Tom like his show at one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. Here we are together again on the radio. Oh, oh, oh. 
And we're talking about the upcoming holiday season. Here's the perfect opportunity. I mean, it's one thing if you have kids and you tell them that Santa Claus committed suicide in the backyard. You ever use that one? You know, you have the sound of a gunshot in the background there, and then you, you tell the kids Santa Claus to have shot himself. Like that. Well, if you haven't used that one, try this one on the person you're married to or dating. You tell them, honey, the economy is so terrible. I'm so afraid of what's going to happen. We have to be very, very responsible right now. We can't be spending lots of money on gifts. Have you tried that? Have you used the lousy economy as an excuse not to get somebody what they want for the holidays? one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. This is Art on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey Tom, how you doing? Hey Art, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Okay. Well, I did use the economy as an excuse, and when my girlfriend got a little bit, you know, upset with me, I DT beat her. I told her, "Sorry, being I wouldn't want to be you." <laughs> That's it. Well, that was it. Wow. The only, person, the only woman I buy a really nice gift for is my secretary. That's because she keeps my office in line. <laughs> Unbelievable. And yet, by the way, maybe one day your secretary will put out. Well, we want to go down that road there, Tom. Yeah. But I think you want to go down. I think you want to go down that road. But she does take care of me every so often. Well, are you? Oh, are you serious? I am serious. I no wonder you got her a gift. Yeah, well, of course. Yeah, I'm a good boss. I take care of my people. You know, I, 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 if I had a secretary, I don't have a secretary, of course. But if I had a secretary, what I would say is, you know, honey, I'm going to give you the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> exactly. Here it exactly. is. I hear that. It's I hear coming that. at you like a freight train. <laughs> oh God, that's funny. <laughs> that would be good. That would definitely be good. <laughs> All right, now, Tom. of course, if you do that, you'll need a good sexual harassment attorney. Well, my practice isn't sexual harassment. It would help so if I... you had some friends in the HR department. Well, definitely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right, Kyle. Great talking to you. Okay, take me out, Lacey Peterson, with a Santa Claus. I don't know if we have Santa Claus, but we definitely have Lacey Peterson. Emmer. Hey. Emmer. Emmer, Mitch, you have to it's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Sandy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. I have five things for under $25. You bought five things for under $25. Really? Really. You, uh, use book on Amazon.com, 1,000 places I'd like to see before I die. We're going to do those together, baby. Uh-huh. Go to Ross, buy a $2 frame. Frame a photo of the two of you. <laughs> While you're at the checkout line, pick up one of those ornaments, our first ornament together. <laughs> Write that note you're talking about. How about that? Uh, how about getting them a gift card for Ralph's or Trader Joe's? Oh, too much money. No, no, but the thing is, you're going to buy groceries anyway. Ah, Trader Joe's will give you cash back, too. Exactly. In fact, I'll give you another little hint. If you buy it with your Discover card or your Cashback American Express card, they'll actually give you a cash rebate uh, there you for go. buying a gift card. <laughs> and last thing, I could die of a chocolate, chocolate. One single one you handpicked yourself. Oh, yes. I went to every store to find this one particular piece. The perfect favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. Have a good Christmas. You too. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Are you using the lousy economy as an excuse not to get a great gift or an expensive gift for somebody you supposedly love? <laughs> 1-800-5800-866-Daryl on the top like his show. Hello. Hello. What's up, Mr. Tom? Not much. Doing a radio show, Daryl. Hey, Tom. I tell you, this is what you do. Every right after Thanksgiving... 
I become either a Muslim or a Jehovah's Witness. Ah! <laughs> Clean up until after the New Year. <laughs> They can't knock that, Tom. They can't. They can't beat that. That that it gets them every time. <laughs> Give her a copy of the Watchtower for Christmas. Yeah, yeah, or, or one of them bean pies. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's a great gimmick. I love that. Yeah. Sounds <laughs> good. Know, Wrap, wrap them up one of them one star then a bean pie. There we gift. go. Wow, that's a perfect combination. I love it, Daryl. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's it, Tom. That's the way you beat it, man. Sounds good to me. All right, Daryl. <laughs> All right, brother. Thanks for the call. I appreciate it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Are you using the lousy economy as an excuse not to buy her an expensive gift? Keith on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing, Dad? Doing great, son. Good. Uh, no, actually, I don't use that excuse at all. I use the uh, the actual matter-of-fact excuse that I just bought your ass a house last year. <laughs> and we, we've we talked about this many times before. I said, okay, I'm buying you this house, but, you know, don't expect fancy furniture. Don't expect every in-law in the world, every mother's daughter's friend, you know, to be getting a gift. This is what you're getting. Absolutely. I mean, with the economy the way it is now, yeah, sure, I could use but, you know, haven't mentioned one word about the economy being tight. I always remind her every day, well, you are sitting in a new four-bedroom house. <laughs> and then it, it, it humbles the old lady up pretty much, and she can't argue with it, so. That's exactly right. Keith, okay, thank you for that. I appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. What a perfect excuse. You were looking to save a few bucks. You don't want to be spending money just because you're banging somebody on an expensive gift. Here's the opportunity. Lousy economy. Whether you have a job or not, whether you're making the same money or not, use the economy as an excuse. Makes sense, right? Jack on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jack. Hey, you know what? I've been using this excuse for the last five years. My girl, I've never told my girlfriend, she doesn't live with me or anything, I've never told her what I make, how much I make, anything, I dress down when I'm with her, and you know what, she thinks I make a lot less than I do, so I've just been playing this thing for the last five years, and she's, <laughs> she's not getting anything this year, except maybe a little kiss goodnight, that's about it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm getting my girl a tube steak this year. <laughs> with a bun. <laughs> Tube steak between two bonds, that's right. There you go. You know. All right, Tom, take it easy, buddy. Hey, Thank blow you. me up. Here you go, Jack. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number, Sean, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What up, Tom? Not much, Sean. I'm hurting, man. I'm hurting. I should have listened to you much sooner. Why? Oh, I just got out of court for child support. <laughs> oh six seventy boy. six seventy five a month, bro. Uh, for one kid. Oh uh, boy, well, you asked for it and the reason you had a kid was what now? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, uh, I think I just got out of jail to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> can you uh, take me out with a bong hit, bro? Yes, yes I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, that's our telephone number. Ashley on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. Hi. Actually, my husband's always wanted his own man cave, so this year that's what we're getting for him. His own man case. Yeah, man cave. He's getting a big screen TV and a recliner. Oh, man cave. I thought you were getting him like a purse. Uh, no, that's not right. You know those man bags, those man purses. That's scary. No man should have a purse, Tom. Oh, come on. There's a lot of guys like that walking around their little man bags. That's why they're not married. <laughs> yeah, so this year he gets what he wants. <laughs> oh, boy. What does he want? A he man wants... cave. You're going to completely furnish it out. Yes, I am. Wow. See? There are some good women out there, Tom. 
Well, I understand that, darling, but, uh, you know, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. That's true. Most of us are not very easy to get along with. That's exactly right. And that's why I love you, Tom. Thank you, darling. Yes. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Teresa on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Teresa. Hi, Tom. It's Teresa. I just said that. I have the, I know, I have the perfect gift. The Dave Ramsey book, and tell your your significant other, cash is king, debt is dumb. Yeah. Do you ever, well, it, it, it gives them advice with money issues that... It'll get them to start thinking about spending money more wisely. He puts some God stuff in there, too, doesn't he? Uh, I don't know. Uh, there's some kind of a, there's some kind of a Christian, there's some kind of a Christian twist to that guy. Yeah, but the cash is king part, at least that part's good. Just overlook the parts you don't like. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Tom. Teresa, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here's Moses on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? It's going great. Hey, um, I got a story about uh, my ex-girlfriend. She gave me some cheap gifts, and we weren't even in a recession. Um, maybe uh, this is a perfect idea to give to the rest of the people this year. Uh, she gave me a CD case. And she gave me burnt CDs of music that she liked. Okay, I'm um, I'm into rap, and she gave me like alternative. She gave me like Coldplay and stuff like that. And she said that she made them especially for me. Oh boy, uh, she didn't even buy the CDs. So, okay, she, so she me, went, made you. She like burned you a CD with yeah, like, like with music, music she downloaded she online. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she she got it from like Napster, and she made me different CDs. And that was my gift. Yes, and it's and it and it's the Coldplay and other uh, chick music, like radio. Yeah, chick music exactly, <laughs> like the Dixie Chicks. The Dixie Chicks. Yeah, this is very special to me. I want it's, you to have it. Exactly. Oh and she God. got in my car and she goes, "I want you to open it right in front of me." I started like opening it, and, dude. I'm not serious. I, I mean, dude, I wanted to cry. Come on, I want you to play it right now. <laughs> I just told her, hey, you know what, I have to leave. I have to leave. And she was like, why? Why? <laughs> and I, I'm like, man, just get out of my car. I got to leave right now. And I, I gave her, like, I gave her a ring. I gave her um, some seat covers for a car. Why'd you do that? I don't know. I, had, I was, uh, I guess, in love or whatever. Oh, God. Haven't you been listening? Haven't you been taking down notes on what I've been telling you? Before I didn't, but now I do. Every single day from wow, I'm like in two hour traffic, and I listen to you all the time, man. That sounds good to me, Moses. Thanks a lot for the call. Tom like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. The Tom Likas Show. <laughs> The Tom Likas Show, coming to you from Hollywood, with the shortest commercial breaks ever, now heard six days a week in Los Angeles. Check us out Saturdays from 2 until 6 on 97.1 FM Talk here in Los Angeles, and if you, uh, if you cannot uh, hear the show because you don't live in Southern California... Go to blowmeuptom.com, click on the Listen Live button, and you'll be listening live 2 to 6 p.m. Pacific Time this Saturday. And I'll be coming to you from Las Vegas on Saturday because <laughs> I'm going to the De La Hoya Pacquiao fight. So uh, we'll do the show, and then we'll head over to the fight. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Dean always reminded me to market everything here and sell everything, yes. We're now on the radio seven days a week here in L.A. because we have the tasting room on Sundays. It's out of control. You can't get away from us. We're spreading like a cancer. All right, uh, are you using the holiday season 
uh, as a way of economizing during this, you've got the lousy economy and you're saying, okay, here's one way I can cut back. Less gifts, smaller gifts, no gifts. Honey, I love you very much, but we have to be very, very careful with our money right now. Are you doing that? 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Jonathan on the Tom Like Your Show. Hello. Hey, hey there. Hey. Listen. Uh, this year, this year, I'm giving my girl nothing but four used tires for her car. She's been driving around on on steel belts, sitting there driving around on steel belts. You see sparks coming out from under her car when she drives down the road. I got my boy set up down the road. He got a used tire shop. I got four nearly new used tires for hundred bucks out the door, including mountain and balance. That's what you're getting for for Christmas. That's it. Stick a little armor all on those babies, and you're all set. Hey, I can put a little armor off somewhere else. She can polish me up. <laughs> <laughs> one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hi to Dan on the Tom Like Show. Hello, Dan. Hi, uh, Tom. Uh, I got a good one for you since you like TiVo so much. I bought uh, the TiVo, got the lifetime subscription, got home. My wife loved it. I said that's good. Um, because Merry Christmas, happy birthday for the rest of your life. Now, I didn't get away with it, but I think some of your, your, uh, your listeners might be able to, but, uh, I just thought that was pretty good that you could, uh, I, I, I tried it though. Are they, uh, are they still selling lifetime subscriptions to TiVo? Oh yeah. It's not what? cheap either, but it's, uh, in the long run, it's, uh, way cheaper than, uh, paying for the yearly. Right, but next year she'll be begging you for another gift. Yeah, I know. Like I said, I didn't get away with it, but uh, some of your listeners, they probably have enough game that they could get away with it. Yeah. So you don't have enough game. That's why you didn't get away with it. <laughs> nah, but I, I gave it a try. Always good to give it a shot. So I just thought you'd like to hear that one. I... Long, time, uh, long time listening of the first time I called up. Sounds good to me, Dan. Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Dad, how you doing? Doing okay, son. You know what? I got the best thing ever. What we got to do is free, too. Break up with our girlfriend, which I already did right before Thanksgiving. Throw them all into the pool, and then it's free game for anybody. Oh, well, I totally agree. Restock the pond. Toss everybody back in. That's what we do, baby. Same thing as last year. And then after uh, Valentine's Day... Get back with them, you know, and then you got another few months to hang out. We'll do whatever. Now, the thing to remember, and I tell the guys all the time, don't forget, uh, Christmas Eve, there'll be a lot of sad women out there at bars drowning their sorrows because they got dumped before the holidays. They got nobody to love. And those women are like, they're there for your use. Thanksgiving to, to Valentine's Day, free game. They're all horny and, and lonely. That's exactly right. <laughs> All right, boss. I saw you a couple of weeks ago at the uh, the Kings game too, and the VIP party, man. Oh, very good. Oh man, so go Kings! Absolutely, go Kings! You're right about that, Mike. Wow, another hockey fan. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, are you using the lousy economy as an excuse to cut back on your gift giving this holiday season with your girl, your 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 man, whoever? Rob, hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. I was born, I was thinking uh, on the radio, sometimes you get those specials where you can get your uh, special lady, you can buy her a star. Anyone with a printer can print up a paper saying, hey, I bought you that star, baby. <laughs> 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 and if you're unfortunate enough to have uh, been one of those guys that got suckered into having a kid, have the kid draw the cards for everybody, all that your family and friends. <laughs> Tell, tell your girl, oh, yes, it's been, it's been printed in a book in the Library of Congress. <laughs> Exactly. There's exactly. your star right there. Hey, Tom, I enjoy your show. And uh, I was thinking you predict the future and everything quite a bit. You're great at it. I have a new name for you, No Host Radamus. <laughs> <laughs> You're great, Tom. I was wondering if you could blow me up. Yes, yes, I can. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Uh, this is your opportunity to uh, get it in here. Tell us if you're cutting back on holiday gifting. You know, you're going to tell your husband or your wife or your boyfriend or your girlfriend, Oh, honey, I love you, but, you know, I might lose my job next month. I'm, uh, wait, we can't be spending a lot on Christmas because what are we going to do if we have all these bills to pay? We don't have a job. 
Great way to cut back. Phil on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, Phil. Hey, man, I'm going to have a great Christmas time. Really? Yeah, because I ain't getting nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay? And the wife ain't getting nothing. Hey, brother, you here. This recession is working for me, okay? <laughs> It's going to be a sweet Christmas. <laughs> I can get away with maybe a $2.50 card for the wife and probably would expect the same. So I don't know about everybody else, but I'm loving it. <laughs> Danny on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's happening, Tom? How you doing? I'm doing okay, Danny. Uh, great. Uh, by the way, I'm uh, one of your uh, alumni from uh, class of 96, uh, 101. Really? Really. How's that been working out for you? Yeah, it's been working out great. And uh, I just wanted to uh, give a little inside tip to uh, all the guys out there who are uh, listening. Take note on this. Uh, what I do for my girlfriend, uh, I'll go buy her a jacket for Christmas, and uh, I'll go like to Savon's or... Um, CVS, get like a $20 jacket, take it over to Macy's with some uh, friends where, that work over there, they'll wrap it up for me. And as far as she's concerned, she got like a $150, $200 jacket. Wow. Well, that sounds that pretty good. What was that? That sounds pretty good. Oh, yeah. And uh, when it comes to uh, Valentine's, I never, ever have to worry about spending any cash on uh, on flowers. <laughs> because, <laughs> Why? Why? Because what I do, I'll go to the cemetery, get a nice bouquet of roses, okay, and I'll give her that. I mean, come on, what's a dead person going to do with, with flowers, right? That's exactly right. They die anyway. Exactly. Just like your relationship's going to die at some point. Yeah, if it does, I'll just go look for another one. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Danny. Hey, thanks for uh, taking out Dale Earnhardt style, yeah? Dale Earnhardt style. There you go. Oh, yeah. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Like us 101 is next. Start calling a professor at 1-800-5800. Tom. The Tom Likas Show.